Dean, um, we've kept the unbeaten at home record. What do you think of the game? Look, we started brilliant. I thought we were electric in the first 10 minutes. We gave up a real sloppy goal, sort of individual error. Um, from Wintz, basically, not clearing the ball properly. Um, turned over the ball, good finish by the kid, good pullback, good finish. And then on half time, we had a real kick in the teeth. I think Nicky the great error with their goal, he made a great save to make it 2 1. And then um, we sort of lost our way a little bit. The goal sort of, sort of rattled us a little bit. I was a bit frustrated by it, I have to be honest. Um, from the players' point of view, they've got to keep doing what's got us in that position and got us 1 0 up. And I thought it just was sensation. It was a great goal by him. And then at the, the, right at the end of the half, we gave up a real poor goal, to be honest with you. Rubbish, really. Um, there's no way he should be scoring from there. So, yeah, and then the second half, very calm at half time. Just spoke to the players, basically, about how we can win the game. Uh, different time frames were in the game. Uh, we wanted Courtney to do more. And Courtney was a little bit Jekyll and Hyde today. He was really poor first half, but sensational second half. And he showed us his pace. He ran, the, he ran his defender on the outside. Um, he did brilliant when he tracked back on a turnover of the ball for the second goal. He got the free kick. So he has to do that for 90 minutes. And then obviously, great ball by Hartigan. And a good finish by Steady makes it 2 2. And then obviously, we kept going and kept pushing and managed to get a, managed to get a winner. But there was a little bit of luck in there as well. I have to say, I thought Dev's team was they defended immensely. It was a tiny bit of luck. With, they hit the crossbar on a deflection. And we all thought it was in. And I, so when that happened, I thought this could be our day. So but from our point of view, we kept pushing, kept going. Um, not as clean as we were against Foiled. Um, but look, we kept going and we showed good character and it's a, it's a great way to win. I'd like us to win 2 or 3-0 personally, but I'm not saying we should do that because of the organisation of the opposition. Um, they were well organised, well drilled and they were really good in transition on the turnover of the ball. They had a lot of pace in the wide areas. The boy Smith obviously travelled with the ball really well. So all in all, really good National League game. How much do these conditions impact how you want to play football? Yeah, they always do, but when you're playing in these conditions, you've got to keep the ball on the deck. So when it's breezy, blowing a gale, and the more you keep it on the deck, the more control you'll have. Um, the more ch when you make the right choices in possession, the right availability, people have to be available for the ball. That'll help as well. So look, I think we've dominated possession, really. Um, but we needed to be a little bit clean on our decision making. So to concede two today is really frustrating. Another game where Anthony Hartigan just keeps the ball ticking, keeps it moving. What do you think of his game? Yeah, top player. He's the best player in the park, man. Well, um, tremendous performance from him. Um, everything we ask him to do, he does. Uh, we play through him. Um, he's, he's, he put in a great ball for Nicky first half, where their goalie's made a fantastic save, point blank header, and obviously the ball as well for the, for Steady's goal was a great ball as well. But all in all, his pass percent, uh, his pass completion is a joke, and he always plays forward. Always wants to play forward, always looking for that forward pass, and to me that's bravery. And then coming back like we did in the end with that last minute winner, does that just show the mentality, the mentality that you have in the squad? Yeah, it's a great sign, it's a good way to win, but I want us to be more dominant, I want us to be you know, more convincing. And like I said, I just think we made a little bit rogue, I'll have to watch it back, which I will do tonight. And we just went a little bit rogue when they obviously got an equaliser at nothing when we were dominating and we won their look. And uh, we just started playing our own game, and that was very frustrating. So that took all of half time to sort of get that across to the players. We watched some video of the first half, which was so important, just showing the lads the phases and sort of how Maidenhead are trying to stop us. Um, they, Brunty was man marked, and um, so was Steady man marked with their two sitters in midfield. So we just had to figure out how to get around that uh, sort of scenario, and we did. So all in all, I'm pleased with the victory. And then I can imagine games like this that can be a bit scrappy at times are quite physically draining and also mentally draining. How do you reset ahead of the next game? Just move on to the next game. We'll debrief the game on Monday. We don't complicate things. Listen, we ain't revolutionising football. You know, We just keep it really simple. We want the players to do what they're good at. Um, I ain't no genius at football. I just want players to do what they're good at. They give their all. That's all we can ask of any person, to give their all. And the players have done that for me since I've been here for the last 24 months, 25 months, or whatever it's been. So... Um, this group of players has a little bit more character. They've created that themselves. They've built that within the changing room. And um, that's them, that's not me. Um, so all in all, look, we know they're good lads. But like I say, we can always still improve, me included. Uh, the players can definitely improve. So once we keep uh, pushing each other to improve, uh, we'll, keep having, uh, we'll keep winning football matches. And then lastly, how important and how helpful is it having players on the bench like Gary Hooper or Rhys Johnson? Yeah, huge. Gorman's come on and got the winner. Huge, huge. The strength and depth of the squad is so important. We're very fair, you know. We're missing big players. We're missing key players. Adi Aluo, Danny Collins, 
uh, Ben Coe got experienced players, powerful players. Obviously, Reese just coming back now. And the players that get their opportunity to, to grasp the short is Dom Revan, um, Courtney Senior. And I thought Dom did better when he went in the wider area uh, of defence. And I thought Courts was what we want to see. That's the potential he has, but he's got to produce it week in, week out if he's going to stay in the team. And I've told him this. Um, so what I'm saying on camera is nothing that I haven't said to him. Um, you can't be forced half, just have no impact on the game and no effect on the game, and then second half produce that. So in the end, he probably become a super sub. But all in all, he, every player when the bar gets raised, you've got to come with the bar. A group of players have raised, we've raised the bar. The management team, their supporters, everybody, their chairman, we're all raising the bar together. So to have 28 points from 16 games is unbelievable return. Um, but I'm not happy with our clean sheet record and we've let in too many goals. That's really frustrating me. We've scored enough. We've let in way too many. So it's something we're going to have to uh, going to have to sort out. Thanks for your time. Cheers.